7 Days to Die Alpha 20 added 5 vehicle mods, and in today's video I'm going to tell you all about what these do and how to get them. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, but with that out of the way, let's get started with the mod nobody really cares about, but let's just get it out of the way. The Off-Road Headlights the exact effect of the off-road headlights according to itemmodifiers.xml is to set your vehicle's headlight intensity to 220%. So it makes your vehicle lights 120% brighter. But how do you get it? Well, this mod schematic is considered a tier 0 item. This means you can find the schematic in all the places you find vehicle schematics like passing gas containers as early as day 1. Basically every passing gas container is going to have this schematic in it. The mod itself enters the loot table at loot stage 40, which you can check here in the character menu. Once you have the schematic, you can craft it at a workbench for 5 steel, 10 polymer, or electrical parts and four headlights. Naturally, this mod and its schematics are pretty common at the trader. Let's move on to a much more interesting pair of mods, the reserve fuel tank and the fuel saver. The reserve fuel tank sets your vehicle's fuel capacity to 150%, meaning you can put 50% more fuel in your vehicle. And the fuel saver reduces fuel consumption by a massive 50%. Both of these mod schematics spawn at loot stage 40. Once you have them and a workbench, you'll need five steel, five duct tape, 10 scrap polymer, and four mechanical parts for the reserve fuel tank and 5 steel, 10 scrap polymer, 4 acid and 4 mechanical parts to craft the fuel saver. If you're having trouble with acid, look out for the Wasteland Treasures Volume 3 book, which will allow you to wrench medical cabinets, acid barrels, medical equipment, and cars to get acid. It's a low chance, but there are a lot of these items in the world. Anyway, the actual reserve fuel tank mod will spawn at loot stage 40 or higher in vehicle related containers, and the fuel saver will spawn at loot stage 80 or higher in Alpha 20 stable, or from Alpha 20.1 onwards, loot stage 100. And they can be found at the trader along with their schematics. Next up is a mod that's only really useful in multiplayer, the expanded seating mod. This mod gives you an extra seat for your minibike or motorcycle, or two extra seats in your 4x4. The schematic for this will spawn at loot stage 80 or higher in Alpha 20 stable, or loot stage 100 or higher in Alpha 20.1. Once acquired, you'll need 5 steel, 10 cloth, 4 leather, and 4 springs to craft it. Alternatively, the mod will spawn at loot stage 118 or higher in Alpha 20 stable, or loot stage 190 or higher in Alpha 20.1. As usual, you can also find them at the traders. Finally, we have the most important vehicle mod in the game, but really quickly, I want to first say, if you're learning anything new, consider hitting that subscribe button. We are almost at 10k subscribers, and don't you want to say you subbed to is pre-built before 10k, I mean that's a pretty big deal. You can write that shit on your resume or maybe a mug or something. Anyway, back to the best vehicle mod ever, the supercharger. The supercharger increases your non-boosting max speed of your vehicle by 25%, so when you use this mod, you'll move 25% faster when not boosting than you would without the mod. But the mod also increases your boosting max speed by 15%. This means that your boosting max speed with this mod is 15% higher. Just to clarify, with this mod you do still move faster while boosting, it's just the effect of the mod is much more noticeable when looking at non-boosting. And just to cover all bases, you boost by holding shift while driving. It increases your speed but consumes more fuel. The mod schematic it's a tier 2 item, this means that you can loot it onto your loot stage 80 or higher on Alpha 20 stable, or if you're playing on Alpha 20.1 onwards, loot stage 100. Once you do have the schematic, you can craft it for 10 forged steel, 10 short iron pipes, 1 brass radiator, and 4 mechanical parts. Alternatively, you can loot the mod from vehicle related containers at loot stage 118 on Alpha 20 stable, or loot stage 190 in Alpha 20.1 onwards. Naturally, you can find the schematic and the mod at the trader. Now, really quickly, how do you actually mod vehicles? Well, you can either pick it up and mod it like a gun by pressing modify, or you can hold E when it's out and select open, and then modify it from there. It's worth noting that the bicycle cannot accept any of the mods currently in the game, the minibike can only hold 3 mods, the motorcycle and gyrocopter can both hold 4 mods, and the 4x4 can hold 5 mods. Also just a quick reminder that the gyrocopter cannot have extra seating or off-road headlights. Now then, go forth grease monkeys and absolutely dazzle your friends with your souped up vehicles. Thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.